Friends in Christ, I'm happy to speak with you today about the ongoing journey of faith we undertake in our diocese and throughout the United States on Eucharistic revival and renewal. And in this process, I'm introducing some wonderful videos from the Archdiocese of Mobile, our province, our neighbors in Alabama, for our edification, for our ongoing formation, for our love for the Lord in the Eucharist, in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. During these days of synodality, we also appreciate the Eucharist with the theme of communion, participation, and mission. And how fitting that is for our celebration of the Eucharist, communion with the Lord, communion with one another, our participation in heartfelt prayer, and a deep sense of mission carrying this life out into the world. I'm confident that these videos, graciously provided by Archbishop Rohde and the Archdiocese of Mobile, again, will be a blessing for us. God bless you. Hello, I'm Thomas Rohde, Archbishop of Mobile. And as we continue in the Archdiocese of Mobile this year, the Eucharist and the Parish, uh, allow me to offer a, a short reflection upon preparation to receive the Eucharist, to receive the real presence of Jesus Christ. You know, if someone important was coming to our house, we would want to straighten the house, clean the house, uh, to get it ready to welcome someone important. Well, to use that analogy, when we are about to receive the real presence of Jesus Christ, his body, his blood, we should want to prepare our hearts to prepare ourselves to receive such a great visitor. Now, we can never perfectly prepare ourselves, but we should be aware that we are sinners. And first of all, if we have a grievous sin, we need to reconcile first in confession before receiving the real presence of Jesus Christ. But we're always sinners. And yet, Jesus wants us to receive his body, his blood, even though we are sinners. You know, at the Last Supper, Jesus gave the Eucharist to the apostles, not to the angels. He gave to the apostles, men of flesh and blood, sinners. The Gospels are embarrassingly clear about the sins, the failings of the apostles. And yet Jesus said to them, take and eat. Now we may say, well, the, the great saints uh, received the Eucharist. Yes, and the great saints were great sinners. They admitted that. We're always sinners. And, and yet, Jesus still wants us to approach the Eucharist. That's why at the beginning of Mass, uh, we ask mercy for God. The very beginning, we have the penitential right. Lord, forgive me as I approach you that I'm never worthy to receive. I come forward because you invite me. You draw me to yourself. Please forgive me my sins. And so if we have a grievous sin, we need to be reconciled before going to communion, before receiving the real presence of Jesus Christ. And, and throughout the year, we should be going to confession. But any time that we receive the Eucharist, we're approaching Jesus as sinners. And we ask God's forgiveness as we approach the Eucharist as he invites us to do so. May God bless you.